Time now for part one of my interview with Smashing Pumpkins. We spent a lot of time with them, so we got two parts to show you. They'll perform live tonight on the award show. They returned to the road last week, a month and a half after their tour was tragically interrupted by the heroin overdose death of keyboardist Jonathan Melvoin. That incident led to the firing of their drummer, Jimmy Chamberlain, who was arrested for heroin possession at the scene of Melvoin's death. I caught up with the three remaining pumpkins a couple of weeks ago, and they held nothing back in exploding the myth of Rock's romance with drugs and revealing the frustrations of running a band with junkies in it. We began with Chamberlain's own drug history, which had sent him into rehab before. You had faced the question of Jimmy's drug addiction in the past. As you began the tour, though, it was your impression, just for the record, that he was no longer using drugs of any kind. True. Not drugs of any kind, but hard drugs. Heroin. Right. Heroin, cocaine. I spoke to Jimmy Chamberlain and Billy Corgan at the beginning of their summer tour in Indiana. There, Jimmy talked openly about drugs as if they were part of his distant past. Getting, you know, flown around the world, you know, having living in an unreality that becomes reality where you can do anything you want to do and somebody will pay for it. It gives you, you know, it puts you in a mindset that's very dangerous and very self-destructive. Were you aware at that time that he was still battling drug use or that it was recreational? We, we were really under the impression that, that he was having these kind of little weekend warrior blowouts, but that basically it was under control and we were, we were being made to believe that we were being told the truth at every step of the way, which we later found out wasn't true at all. It's always a tragedy when that happens because it's not necessarily always the artist's fault. That's more bullshit drug addict excuses. I'm sorry, but that's just more excuses. The fact of the matter is, is you're a human being, you have responsibilities not only to yourself, but to others. What do you got? The European leg of the Infinite Sadness Tour was plagued by problems centering around Jonathan Melvoin and Jimmy Chamberlain last spring. The band offered to stop their tour so Jimmy could seek treatment, but he insisted he didn't need it. Surprisingly, the Pumpkins managed to keep the drug situation private, despite the severity of the problems they were having. There were two overdoses prior to this particular overdose. By Jimmy or Jonathan? Uh, the first one involved Jimmy and the second one involved both of them. And did you at that point sit Jimmy and Jonathan down to say Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Firing we had, is an option here. We had a long comical talk where they told us, you know, it'll never happen again and and we're really sorry and uh, gee, yeah. we, we realize we're destroying our lives here and uh, you know and Jonathan, everyone else Jonathan's like I have a baby and a wife and responsibility and I'm so grateful for the opportunity and Jimmy's like, Yeah, I have so much to lose and we're really sorry and it, just, you know, we, you know, in hindsight, we're, we look stupid, but Wait, at, the, at the time, say, we, at the time, we really wanted to believe. We actually did fire Jonathan. We did fire him. He was fired for about a, a month. month. He was just going to finish up the end of the tour. The end and of the then, Europe tour. Yeah, the one leg of the tour. And uh, he was a, a sweet sweet man, really wonderful person, and um, we didn't know him for very long, we didn't know his history, and we ha he came to me, basically, and sounded, not only convinced me, he had himself obviously convinced that he was cleaning up his act, and I didn't realize, I, I don't know his history, I still really don't. We, gave, we really we gave believed another, him. We gave him a chance to prove himself, to and prove he did. Himself. He did for the rest of that tour. The two of them were, you know, on their best behavior. And you want to believe yeah, that that's, they're going to be okay. It was difficult for the band to detect Jimmy's heroin use due to the lack of obvious physical signs. All we had was our intuition telling us that something wasn't right. That Jimmy wasn't always in the right mind at all the right times. But you got to understand, he was hiding it so well that you were never quite sure. And when you when you believe that someone's telling you the truth, and you say, "Okay, now you're going to tell me the truth, right?" Oh yeah, I'm telling you the truth. Is everything fine? Everything's totally fine. What are you going to do? You're going to go ask their mom? I mean, this is a 31 year old man. He's Did you notice in playing? Um, well, on he tour. was playing very erratically, but I honestly 
I, I didn't know what the problem was. Just days before the band was to play New York City, they confronted Jimmy about his drug use again, but he insisted he was clean. This denial made it more shocking when the news came that Jimmy had overdosed and Jonathan had died of the combined effects of alcohol and heroin. I was especially just absolutely just numbed, literally numbed. I thought I had dropped the phone out of my hand because I couldn't feel my hand anymore. The members of the band were taken down to New York City's 19th precinct and questioned. It was kind of absurd. They split us up like on the TV shows and took us in separate rooms and questioned us to see if our answers would match up. We're like, this isn't real. This is this is like some kind of cliche. I'm living a cliche. Yeah. We, are the, we are now the rock and roll cliche. Jimmy Chamberlain has a September 26th hearing in New York on his heroin possession charge. He's still in drug rehab and so far we've had no success trying to reach Chamberlain for comment on what his ex-bandmates have to say about him. We'll have more of my conversation with Smashing Pumpkins later on in our opening act show. Spider webs.